आज ही डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड करें डाउटनेट पर होगा अब आपके सभी मैथ्स केमिस्ट्री फिजिक्स और बायोलॉजी डाउट का सफाया बस अपने क्वेश्चन की फोटो खींचो उसे क्रॉप करो और तुरंत वीडियो सोल्यूशन पाओ डाउनलोड नाउ क्वेश्चन स्टेट कंसिडर अर ऑफ रेडियस आर विथ चार्ज डेंसिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड एज रो एज अ फंक्शन ऑफ आर इज इक्वल टू के आर फॉर आर लेस और इक्वल टू आर इज इक्वल टू सी रो फॉर आर इज ग्रेटर देन आर फर्स्ट पार्ट इज फाइंड द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड एट ऑल पॉइंट आर सो फॉर दिस वी हैव कंसिडर थ्री स्फेयर फर्स्ट फेयर इज आर ओरिजिनल स्फेयर ऑफ रेडियस आर वन हाइपोथेटिकल स्फेयर इज which which has a radius r but that is less than the radius of the real sphere and another hypothetical sphere is that whose radius is greater than r that means first we have r greater than r then we have r less than r r less than r is this sphere and r greater than r is this sphere okay so we need to calculate Uh, electric field at all points are first at this distance and then at this distance okay so for that what will we use we'll use gauss's law which states that electric field intensity is equal to charge enclosed divided by epsilon not so charge enclosed is q i n c okay so this implies Is equal to one by epsilon. What is charge enclosed? It is, it is integral of its density into volume element, right? So we need to cal. This is given. That is K R. We need to calculate this. For this, we can write T V, or say first V is equal to volume of a sphere is equal to four by three pi R cube. Differentiating it, we'll get. Four by three by r square by, I mean r square into three, the and then dr. This gives us three and three. Four by square, four by r square dr. Okay. So instead of this, we can write e d s is equal to one by epsilon naught. Then we have. K R. This is given, and for this we have four pi r square d r. Okay. Now this implies we get integral e dot d s is equal to one by epsilon naught. Taking all the constants out, this becomes k, and then we have four and pi, and inside we are left with r cube d r. Integrating this from zero to R okay, because we are talking about inside the circle. There is charge inside the circle at a distance of at a distance of R okay. So after this, we can write it as four pi k by epsilon naught. Integration of this becomes R four by four, and then we have pi k R is power four by epsilon naught. Okay. Now solving this side. C. Electric field is radially outwards. It's like this, and the surface, like element D S, is also in that direction. So the angle between them is zero. E dot D S is E D S cos theta. That becomes cos zero, and cos zero is one. So we can simply write E into area surface area of a sphere is given by four pi r square, and pi k r is power four by epsilon. So this implies E is equal to k r square by four epsilon. So this is the electric field for this sphere. Now we have to calculate because of this sphere, which is at a distance of r greater than radius of the sphere. See, there is charge only in this sphere. That is our original sphere. There is no charge in this sphere. So if we are calculating electric field at this distance, we need to integrate only from zero to r. Because there is no charge in this, this is just a hypothetical sphere we are considering. So that means we have to integrate from zero to r, not from zero to r. Okay. For that sphere, let's do it. For r is greater than r, we can write integral 
a dot d s is equal to again one by epsilon naught and then rho d v. This implies again the its uh, electric field is radially outwards. Angle will be zero. E into four pi r square and then one by epsilon naught and this rho becomes k r. Then d v again becomes d v again becomes four pi r square d r. So taking all the constants out, we'll be left with four pi k. Then integrating r q d r, but from zero to capital R, that is the radius, because there is no charge when we talk about distances that are greater than the radius of the sphere. Okay. So after this, we'll get this and this. They go, and then r square becomes here. So we're left with e is equal to k by epsilon naught r is by 4 by 4 and this r square right this time it is r because we have applied the limits also that completes our first part that is we have calculated electric field at all points r now let's look at the second part second part is suppose the total charge on the sphere is 2e okay where e is the electron charge where can two protons be embedded such that the force on each of them is zero? Assume that the introduction of the proton does not alter the negative charge distribution. So now we are introducing two protons in this setup, in the setup of sphere. And charge, like total charge is 2E. That means charge of one is E and E, okay? Assume that the introduction that means we have to like we have to place them in such a way that it does not alter the negative charge distribution. That means the total charge on them should be on like on each of them should be zero. Only then it won't alter the negative charge distribution. So let's solve it. See now we need to place them for example this is our sphere which is whose uh, radius is r and then we need to place two protons. So we have to place in them in such a way that they are at equal distances from the center, say R and R. They're like symmetrical. We are placing them at equal distances so that the force on each of them because of each other is equal. So, and we have to place them on the opposite sides along the center, right? So this is our one proton one. This is our proton two. See now, on this proton one, there are two forces. Number one is because of this proton, right? Repulsive force. And number two is the original charge density that was spread across the sphere. We know there must be negative charge, right? On this, surf on this uh, surface, there will be some negative charge. And this is positive. So because of this, the, the force will be attractive. And because of this, the force will be repulsive. So let's solve it, B part. See, charge enclosed will be, like total charge in this will be zero to R. If we in integrate it from zero to R because the actual radius is R and then rho dV, this is the total charge. That gives us zero to R, rho is KR. And then we have four pi R square dR because that is the volume element. And after this, we get Q is equal to 4 pi K. Again, R is power 4, capital R is power 4, divided by 4 is equal to 2E. See, the question itself says the total charge is 2E. This is E and this is the total charge is equal to this. That gives us 2E. Okay. From here, we can calculate K. That is that constant, right? 2E by pi r is power 4 this is our k okay now we can calculate the like each force on proton 1 so first force will be attractive force attractive force on proton 1 due to charge distribution like i said negative charge distribution That would be 
F1, let's consider that as F1, is equal to, we know electric field intensity is electrostatic force divided by charge. So we can write E into E minus E K R square 4 by epsilon naught, right? So this is the attractive and attractive we represent as minus E. And then we know this is K, K R square by 4 by epsilon naught, okay? And this E we got from our first equation that was when R is when R is less than R and we know this these protons are inside the sphere. So R is less than R and electric field there is this and that's what we have substituted in this equation. So we got the first force that is F1, right? And now let's calculate F2 that is repulsive, repulsive force on again proton 1 due to proton 2 right that will be given by f2 is equal to e square that is q1 q2 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q1 q2 both uh, charges are equal so e square and then distance between them square of distance distance is r plus r so that gives us 2 r square and the net force would be net force net force on one would be addition of these two forces let's say net force is f and that is equal to f1 plus f2 the force due to charge distribution and f2 is the repulsive force because of proton 2 on proton 1 and after this we can calculate uh, okay, so we'll substitute the values. F1 is minus E K R square by 4 epsilon naught. And F2 is E square 4 pi epsilon naught to R whole square. Okay. After solving this, we can write it as minus E R square. Instead of this K, we'll substitute the value of K. We got it from this equation. So we can write it as twice e by 4 pi 4 pi epsilon and then we have 4 pi r is to power 4 okay i forgot one term here okay i didn't forget anything so plus there's there's not another 4 so plus e square divided by 2 into 2, 4, 4 into 4, 16 by epsilon naught and then we have R squared. But we know net force on any of the proton has to be zero such that it doesn't alter the negative charge. So we can say if this is zero, this equals to this. So we can write it as E R squared, this becomes plus and then 4 by epsilon naught by R is power 4 has to be equal to e square 16 pi epsilon naught r square okay let's do some cancellations this is e square and e square and then we have 4 1 4 4 and then we have pi here so pi and pi and then we have one more thing okay here was no pi so here is no pi and then we have epsilon naught they go and then we are left with r square into r square that is r is power 4 is equal to r is power 4 divided by 2 into 4 is 8. So we can write it as r is equal to root 4th root of r is power 4 by 8 that gives us r by 8 raised power 1 by 4. So if r is equal to r divided by 8 raised by 1 by 4 the net force on each of these protons will be 0 so this distance has to be r divided by 8 to the power 1 by 4 only then it won't alter the negative charge distribution thank you class 6 to 12 se leke neat iit je mains aur advanced ke level tak 10 million se zyada students ka bharosa aaj hi download kare doubt net app ya whatsapp kijiye apne doubts 8400400400 400 400 400 par